Let's just take a look here at JSON Web Key Sets or JWKSs. Uh, this is a standard for publishing and distributing cryptographic keys in JSON format. JWKS facilitates the sharing of public keys that can be used to verify the signatures of JSON Web Tokens and encrypt or decrypt messages. They have this particular structure. Let's take a look what we have here. We have the key type. So specify cryptographic algorithm family used for the key. We have the public key use, how the key was meant to be used, whether for signatures or encryption, the algorithm that is being used for the key, uh, the, the key ID, which helps you match up the JWT um, to the actual um, uh, key that's being used. Uh, an interesting thing is that in your header, the, uh, if you have a, uh, a J, J, uh, JWT, it, it will include a, a, uh, a key ID in it. So, for example, if you're using something like Amazon Cognito, um, I'm not sure what the other cloud service providers, but um, uh, with Amazon uh, Cognito, they have a kid in their header, and you have to use JWKSs to verify stuff. So that makes sense. We have um, a couple keys or a couple parameters here specifically for RSA, and then uh, these ones here, which I don't know much about. But the implementation is a bit more uh, uh, involved when you're using JWKS. The idea is that these JWKSs are publicly hosted somewhere. So again, I'm going to go back with the Amazon Cognito example, but AWS has a, a, a public URL that you would provide there. And then the idea is that you, as you're decoding your, uh, after you decode your um, JWT, you extract the signature and then you could um, go verify it, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, there you go.